All right, guys, so let's talk about single SIM walling. Single SIM walling is one of the first things that you'll learn anytime you walk in the door of any Filipino martial arts dojo. The reason why is because it's a basic drill that we begin to start using both hands to do something. It trains, it's a, uh, uh, Simwali was used in the Philippines to train both hands to be able to do something. Most of us don't do everything with both hands the same. Uh, and even now, after many years of doing martial arts, and Filipino martial arts in particular, I still don't do things quite as well with my left hand, but this drill will help that along and help your left hand become stronger. Um, let's talk about this drill in particular, what it's meant to do and what it's not meant to do. Uh, first of all, what it's meant, not meant to do is it's not meant to be a literal thing. You're not going to go into a fight thinking, I'm going to do Simwali on this guy. That's not what it's for. It's an abstract drill <clears throat> that you can do over and over and over and over again. And over time, again, it, it starts to complement, it starts to train the hands to go where they should go, where the brain is telling them to go, and, and do what the brain is telling them to do. <clears throat> that way, whenever we do translate this into something that's empty hand, or even with a weapon, that the brain already has a pattern to follow, and that's something that can be adapted. Uh, a lot of martial arts, they'll train, they'll train you in particular combos or particular techniques and then try to expand from there um, and try to have you extrapolate a pattern of movement out of that. We show you the pattern first and then we force it into our movements and let you, uh, and then that way you already have the pattern and then, we, and then you're allowed to apply it to the movements later. Okay, so single samwali. Single samwali still takes two sticks. All uh, Simwali means to weave, uh, or in the Philippines, if you uh, if you talk about Simwali, it means two weapons of equal length. It could be two daggers, it could be two swords. In this particular ca uh, uh, case, it's a pair of rattan sticks um, that are, you know, kind of a medium length. Okay, so when you're doing Simwali, it is two sticks, but single Simwali just means that you're doing one side at a time. One side is attacking at a time. Okay? And this is the pattern. I know it doesn't look like much, at least in the air right now. But what you're doing is you're going to start in your chamber. This is very important. You'll talk you'll hear us talk a lot about chambering. And all that means is if you're right handed, and this is the this is the left side chamber, this is the right side chamber. Right side chamber, which is what we typically do, even if you are left handed for right now, go for the right right side chamber. It means your weapon hand, your strong hand, your right hand is going to come up to your shoulder. This is the, right, that's the power, um, power strike. This is kind of the, you know, caveman type of overhead strike. And so that's going to go up to your shoulder. Your support hand is going to come underneath your arm on your rib. And this is kind of a um, supporting type of role, okay? So with single some wallet, again, one side is going to do the attacking at a time. One side is going to do two strikes, and it's going to be a arced strike. So it's a high strike that you're going to cut through, and you're going to immediately come down and hit a low strike. Okay? So that's all this is. So strike high, strike low. Strike high, strike low. Starts off in my chamber, goes through the top of the target, cuts through, and then hits the bottom of the chamber. And I'll show you why it doesn't cut through on the bottom here in a second. Okay, here's the fun part. While the, t while the right hand is doing this, the left hand is gonna move this chamber from down here up to the top chamber on the left side. Okay, and that's what it looks like. This is not a strike on the support hand. It is simply just moving the chamber from here up to my shoulder because it's getting ready to do the same thing. Once I do my low strike, this strike actually, uh, the first strike cuts through, the second strike bounces off, and I'm gonna come back to my other chamber right here. This is exactly a mirror image of what I just did. So now that I'm here, then I just repeat the process. So my left hand goes through the top of the target, down on the bottom, while my right hand comes and brings the stick up to my shoulder, and then this returns to its chamber, 
and then I do it all over again. Okay, now, <laughs> here's the thing. You're like, okay, maybe that's simple, maybe it's not. You're gonna get out to your post, or you're gonna get out with your partner, and you're gonna realize, okay, this doesn't, this doesn't look the same. This doesn't work the same as what I think I just saw. That's completely fine. One of the keys to getting this is that you have to be patient with yourself for one, but also whenever you're going through the motions like this, you need to allow yourself time to just get the pattern and then we'll clean it up and we'll, we'll speed it up as time goes on. So it needs to be nice and slow. Also, it's okay if the first couple of times you forget about your left hand. That's what your body's been doing for a while or your off hand. It's, it's okay that you forget about it. So if you find yourself in this position, like, oh, what am I doing? That's completely okay. Just make time, make, uh, make the correction and then start over. I find for my first couple of times to do this with any student that just work on the right side, okay? So you with your partner or with your tree, tree pose or whatever it is, you're just gonna go, that's it, and then reset. And reset. And that's all it is until you get that down pat. Once you get it down pat, then you can go on the left side. And I will tell you, even though it's your left side, it will go quicker. Your brain has already started to form those neural pathways. It's like, okay, I understand this pattern. I can reverse that. And, and we, we call that a mirror. Uh, and all you're doing is you're mirroring it. <clears throat> you, you haven't quite learned it yet, but this is, this is the, the beginning. And then once you're able to, it's okay if there's a pause in between sides. But over time, this should, there should be no pause. This should be like a metronome. And then you'll be able to go faster and faster. And then we've got lots of different variations where we do a single stick variation. We do a double stick variation. We do tons of stuff with this. And then we also have the other Sumwalis as well. But that is the basic single Sumwali. Well, I'm gonna make another video that talks about application with the empty hand and with all uh, eventually down the road knife and how it works. And then also just obviously with the stick, what exactly are we accomplishing here? But for right now, it is a base, is an abstract drill, just getting you used to moving around and used to getting both hands to work at the same time. <clears throat> One last note. So, like I said before, this is one side at a time doing something. It's not exactly true, right? Because while this side is making strikes, this one's preparing to. So there's two strikes in a row with no chamber on the right side, right? This is a strike and a strike, and there's no chamber in between. This side has a chamber and a chamber with no strike in between while that's happening. So it's very balanced, and what you'll notice is that it flows whenever you get it down, and you'll actually feel the chambers tap, shoulder, ribs, shoulder, ribs, shoulder, ribs, shoulder, ribs, as you're going through the motions. So the, the reason why we have such an emphasis on the chamber is that if these were blades, we don't need to come all the way to the chamber, because with a blade, right? You're just trying to make contact and you're opening up there. Uh, well, a blade is a matter separated, right? As soon as you touch something with the edge of a blade and move, then it opens up that flesh. With a stick or with any, any kind of uh, blunt force trauma instrument, you're trying to create momentum and it's a matter pulverizer, right? So you're trying to create momentum. The problem is if you're sitting there fighting and you get used to firing off your shot from here, you can still create a lot of power, but not nearly as much as if you come up to your chamber. Now, would there be a situation in time where you might want to pull off a strike like this because you got an opening and it's a window uh, of opportunity and it might be closing quick? Sure. But for the most part, the, the fault will be that you didn't chamber far enough to really get 
a good enough swing. So that's why we use Simwali to train ourselves that net muscle memory of returning the strikes to the chamber. That way, whenever we do start putting our hips into it, then it really starts to light up. And it's got the most amount of ground to travel, right? Momentum is mass times acceleration. So it's got the a maximum amount of time to accelerate towards the target. And it's already a fixed mass to create as much momentum as possible. All right, single Samwali, there you've got it. This is the basics. We'll be doing single Samwali for the rest of your time in Filipino martial arts. So get comfortable with it. We'll be here a while, and it's just going to grow from here. All right.